Hi guys, welcome back to Eduet channel. Today we are discussing actinobacillosis, that is the wooden tongue disease caused by actinobacillus ligniarasi. So, let's start. It's a chronic suppurative inflammatory disease of ruminants, sometimes and so horses caused by actinobacillus ligniarasi, characterized by the inflammation of the soft tissue of the head, that is mainly the dorsum of the tongue, mainly the dorsum of the tongue and also it can cause the ventrum of the tongue. Less commonly pharyngeal lymph nodes, facial skin, areas and esophageal growth. It is sporadic and self-limiting disease. So, moving to the history of the bacteria, actinobacillus ligniarasi it is a type species in the actinobacillus genus was isolated by ligniers and the name for the species was actually given from the name of the scientist that is ligniers and spits the generic name actinobacillus was first used by the scientist brown with the exception of actinobacillus seminis the geographical distribution of actinobacillus species is worldwide that is Almost in every area, they are causing many infections. They are the common cells of upper respiratory tract, the alimentary tract, and the genital mucosa. Actinobacillus equally occurs as a common cell in the fine intestinal tract. And Actinobacillus suis is present in the tonsil, the upper respiratory tract of healthy pigs also. But actually, that is a common cell organism. So, whenever they are getting the opportunity to have acting like a pathogen, they will be acting like the pathogen and they will be causing many pathogenesis, many lesions, and etc. So, this is the morphology and characters of the bacteria. They are actually gram negative, but they are shaped bacteria that can produce cockle form also. So, since they are acting as a filamentous bacillary form, often giving a Morse code form. So, this is the most code appearance bacteria that is actinobacillus ligniarus. Non motile, that is having no flagella. They will not be having a spore forming capacity and they are as known as a fast. So, in the lesion of animal body, that is actinobacillus ligniarus, will be producing wooden tongue disease. And in the lesion, they will have a small grayish white granules present. It will be the club like process of calcium phosphate with the gram negative rods of actinobacillus ligniarus in the center. That is the granule will be containing colonies of bacteria along with calcium phosphate. So they are aerobic, microaerophilic, and facultative aerobic. Optimum temperature is it's actually 37 degrees Celsius. Pardon me for the 370. So sometimes the growth of actinobacilli pleuronimonia can be increased by the addition of carbon dioxide, that is capnophilic organism. On McConkey agar, they will be producing pale turning pink color that is after 48 hours so is equally and ignorancy and pneumonia and seminus do not grow on macronchial so you should have to study these points whenever you are preparing for any easier examinations so these are the toxins and antigens these are not much important actually but the bacterial capsules that is lipopolysaccharin and apx toxin is very important and the heat stable somatic and heat labile surface antigen are also described so the epidemiology it is actually present all over the world and high prevalence is present in New Zealand and also in America. There actually affects mainly the cattle and sheep but also it can affect the chicken. Chicken also it can be affected. Horses, pigs, dogs etc. Incubation period will be 3 to 5 days but it depends upon the bacterial load, the health status of the animal etc. Now the transmission is actually uh, so, organism enters the tissue of the mouth through epithelial damage. That is, whenever there is a small epithelial damage in the tongue or in the mouth region, which is associated with the rough order, that is containing sharp items in the thorns, etc., the bacteria enters. And they are actually the normal Roman inhabitant of sheep, but whenever there is a large hemorrhages or large mouth damage, they act as pathogen. So, the clinical signs. Animals may occasionally die from starvation and thirst in the acute stages of disease. That is, they cannot be, they cannot eat and they cannot move their tongue. They cannot produce proper salivation. They cannot digest properly. 
and even in the esophageal groove they produce lesions and it can lead to the rupture of esophageal wall they may produce uh, abscess in the esophageal wall which rupture discharge and yellow green pus containing granules there will be also sulfur containing so rapid loss of condition painful and swollen tongue drooling saliva so acnobacillus mainly affect the tongue and it is known as wooden tongue why it is wooden tongue that means it gets high tensile strength that is it becomes highly strengthful and strongness is due to the fibrosis inside the tissue and this lead to granuloma of the tongue which may break so these are the sorry for the clarity main actino bacillus causing disease in horses they will be causing sleepy fall disease and they may cause abortion, metritis, pneumonia, meningitis. In pigs, they will be causing pneumonia mainly, pneumonia and pericarditis and borderline nephritis. So the pathogenesis is classical form of acnobacillosis is a granulomatous glossitis, that is infection of the tongue. Characterized by the firm swelling of tongue, dysphagia, drooling saliva, occasionally protrusion of the tongue. It is actually due to the loss of innervation and will be pyogranulomatous pus filled abscess, lacerations and lymphadenitis will be there in the near glands so the macroscopic lesions will be actually in the tongue mainly and in the upper pharyngeal region so this is the pyro pyogranulomatous glossitis you can see this is small small hemorrhagic spots be large hemorrhagic spots small pyogranulomatous spots so this is the ulcerative tongue This is chronic granulomatous glossitis. Granuloma, which has got a stenosis. This is actually a necrotized tongue. Glossitis. So you can see small club colony that is splendor hifli. It's actually splendor hifli. The bacillus lignancy will be in the center, center road shaped, and there will be colony. This is a rosette shape. It will be having a club like rosette. Diagnosis is clinical signs, history of the disease, demonstration of organism in the tissue, demonstration of the rosette, culture and identification. And on the clinical grounds, the pus containing will be small gram negative bacteria surrounded by the gram negative rods colony. And the club stained red with carbofuxin, and these clubs stained pink with eosin and hematopsin. This is the difference between actinomyces bovis and actinobacillus lignarsi. Actinomyces bovis will be causing actually bovine acnomycosis or the lumpy jaw we will be dealing with the disease later so you have to always remember the difference between two, these two because they will be asked in many entrance exams so differential diagnosis should be done with acnomyces bovis staphylococcus species staphylococcus species cornibacterium pyogenes for more details about staphylococcus species and streptococcus species i will be giving the link in the description box so prevention and control no vaccines are available proper hygiene administration of potassium iodide orally or intravenous sodium iodide injection can stop acute signs thank you